Hi guys, my name is Live Mondo, and I want to welcome you to my very first Destiny 2 commentary video. Now, I've been getting comments over the past two weeks asking me why I, why I don't put commentary on my videos. Well, I guess I don't like the sound of my own voice, basically. Uh, but I've relented. You guys ask for it, it's obviously what you want, so I will provide it. I decided, though, that for my first commentary video, I'd try and do it on something that maybe is m maybe not a lot of people or not as many certainly as a completing nightfalls there aren't as many people completing raids so i jumped into the raid with a group of randoms we got a really clean run done took us about an hour so i've chopped it into four videos and i will release them over the next couple of days with commentary on how to beat each encounter or at least my recommendations to beat every encounter as you can see here, the team I went in with, they decided to open one of the secret entrances. So you come over at the left hand side, just below where I'm looking, you'll see me go in there once I res. This guy whose friends thought it'd be funny to aggro the ads while he still had to come past them, and they killed him instantly. Uh, but that room there, you go in there, six levers, you all pull a lever each at the same time, and it opens up a door that's accessible by jumping on some pipes simple as that and that's you in the underbelly of the raid which has pathways that can take you to all the encounters but i'm not 100 percent sure of this but i think i think you can only go to the encounter you can't skip encounters and just go to the boss you ha it, it, it opens the route to the next encounter plus all the all the exotic raid chests are in the underbelly uh so before i go any further in the the video i'd just like to i really would like to say thank you to everybody that's been supporting the channel really means a lot i was a uh, very hesitant to make content and put out the content i've been playing since destiny one i've been making content since destiny one but just for my clan done a lot of solo activities and a couple of my friends suggested that other people might like to see it and you guys have answered with your views i suppose and it's blew my mind a little bit uh as long as you guys keep wanting this content i'll keep making it and i'll be happy to make it so don't forget at the end of the video if you like it like it if you want to see more subscribe and if you've got any suggestions for any content i should make in the future put it in the comments so back to the video uh my weapon loadout is nearly the same for most of the things i do I really I love the Nameless Midnight. I love using the Mananin, uh, if that's how you pronounce it. But I absolutely cannot stand the curtain call. Personal preference, I think it trigger locks too often. It, it, you know, you'll be jumping through the air trying to take out four or five ads with one rocket just just to clear them, and the thing won't fire until you're coming down. So I have a blue rocket launcher with more. Uh, blast radius comparable velocity it, it's it's really good and I can't remember what it's called <laughs> isn't that just the case I'll, I'll, I'll put it in the comments what it's called I'll put it in the, the details at the end what it's called so that's basically what I use as most people know or if you don't know you can switch out from your rocket launcher to the merciless for the boss for callus uh, but if you've got a rocket launcher, you would, you'd more than likely want to use Cold Heart for Callus. But we'll get to that when when we get to Callus. So as you can see, we're here now. We're here now in the room, and for visual representation, I am on the bottom right plate. There are four plates going round the edges of the room. I'm on bottom right, so you have top right, top left on the other side, and bottom left on the other side. There is a plate on each each of those locations with an orb on the plate. The orb is your protection against that kind of purpley stuff you can see on the floor, the psionic poison stuff. That gives you 50 seconds of psionic protection. So you've got four players on each plate. The two remaining players in the center, they are the runners. One will serve the right, one will serve the left side. So they will run to top right and top left once they get the psionic buff. Once everybody's on the plate and started the encounter, they will go top left and top right and replace the guy on the plate so that he can go back through the center, regain his 50 second buff and come and replace the next guy. 
you're constantly swapping on the plates so that you constantly keep getting your psionic buff now whilst you're on the plates you're going to have to deal with a few ads one crazy ad that will come up from as you can see that chain going up he comes up from there he's the royal bather he's one of those crazy cabal double knife wielding machete guys grenade and and rocket for him don't let that don't mess about with him because if he gets if he manages to get out of that thing if he raises off his platform and comes at you 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 know it's just not a good situation to be in it just puts you on the back foot straight away so just do what, exactly what i've done there grenade rocket good night now i'm getting i'm getting hit there it's, it's, those waves of ads will always come those si two scions and a centurion so as you can see i've just been replaced so now my job is to get to the center uh renew my buff there he is i'll kill him because well why not uh and then i replace the guy on the top side on my side so that's his top right i've replaced same thing up here take out the ads and then make sure that this ad this big big cabal dude doesn't kill me rockets uh, uh, i would suggest rockets i used to run sword on this part but rockets is because sword is not bad for him it isn't too bad for him this uh royal bather but it's pointless when you have to go into the center which is the next part of this encounter you're basically at the moment you're you're staying on your plates to stop the baskets that you'll face in the middle the like incense baskets almost stop them from going down too far and wiping everybody so there will be a audio like a chime and that tells you you have to go into the middle when you go into the middle you should have your order already set someone's going to pop their super and clear ads once that super runs out the next guy needs to know who he is so you know you can have a, a steady stream of people going into the supers and stopping there because there's royal bathers in here as well and you're taking them out so the idea actually for dps for doing actual damage for completing this is to destroy these baskets my suggestion for this part is really just make sure the whole team knows which baskets you're going to be aiming at first and have everybody shooting at the same baskets don't don't be doing the the primary weapon heavy and grenades just clear them out and as you've seen here it's it's not too difficult to one phase it there's nothing crazy there's no guys doing double back flips and you know look at me i'm, I'm jet leaning this all over the place just get your heavy on it get your grenades on it and make sure the guys that are clearing ads with their supers that are on point the supers you know do the job uh and that's it that is it that's this encounter done one phase if you do not complete this in one phase don't sweat it uh once your psionic protection runs out you'll start to obviously get burnt so you would jump out of that middle bit onto the side like the little path around it and then two scions will appear one will appear on the centre plate in a bubble on the ground and one will appear floating up to the right of him. So you punch the guy in the bubble on the on the plate and shoot the other guy and then rinse and repeat. Go back to the plate you started on and do all that again until you hear the audio chain and then go and finish it off. Uh, as you can see here, the guys that I'm in with, they are going to access another secret room in here. There's actually two ways to access this. There's these... So I think I'm on bottom right, again, I'm on bottom right uh, lever. I think it's top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right, but don't quote me. I just remember I was last, and I'm sure if top left was first. There's another way, there's plates you can stand on which will access another door. They all go into the same place, just different parts of it. And that's it. That is the Royal Pools. Uh, easy as pie. I hope this has maybe shed some light on it. I hope this will help some people get through it. Uh, and I hope you've enjoyed the video. Uh, I have been Live Mondo. And I will see you in the next one, guys. Take it easy.